it's been six months in the planning, this operation. Uh, they began their investigations when a 43-year-old man was found in this area some six months ago who'd been missing from home in Worcestershire for some 13 years. He was found to be living in very poor conditions. So they've uh, followed this investigation through six months in the planning. They've been working in conjunction with uh, other agencies like the Serious Organised Crime Agency and Red Cross as well to look into these allegations of slavery and servitude. And as part of that investigation, following those arrests yesterday, they now say that they're also looking for a body. Now, they're going to be searching the site here for, they say, something around about three days. They've brought in heavy uh, excavation equipment. They've got uh, ground X-ray machines. They've got uh, a forensic archaeologist uh, who's helping with the search as well. They say that that's been uh, on the uh, information given that there may be a body at this site. But the officers are saying that that is, at the moment, only a suggestion, but it's one that clearly they think carries enough weight, a suggestion that they think is serious enough uh, that they are putting this amount of manpower into the search. You can see that clearly uh, a large number of officers still here at the scene at the moment. The people that were arrested yesterday, the police have been given a, an extension, granted an extension, in order to continue questioning them further. That extension will run through until the uh, early hours of tomorrow morning. So uh, a very large operation. There's 100 officers involved yesterday, dozens of officers here, including scenes of crimes officers uh, uh, and specialist search teams, which are looking at the, uh, the farm property uh, behind me now involved today uh, as they look into these allegations of slavery and servitude in, in what could be a far-reaching a far investigation.